check whether advanced restart button is available or not let's see here here advanced restart button is available in this rom go into direct recovery if you don't have that then you can go by pressing the power button and volume up button I am using here Orange Fox Recovery, the latest one, and go into Wipe and select Dalvik Catcher System Vendor and Data and swipe here to wipe. Later, go into Install I mean File section and select wherever you downloaded the file. First, use the firmware always. Use this Violet 12.5.1.0 Global Stable Firmware that has been done later again flash the file here pixel experience violet 12 this is the first stable build available for redmi note 7 pro as you can see guys this is android version 12 pixel experience and with january latest security patch and the build date is also given here 27th january it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom zip file wait until it gets flashed rom zip file has been flashed here you can check out and again go into this downloaded files and select the fcrypt disabler v3 select that and flash here it takes a little bit of time okay that has been done and go here into the this menu section and select reboot into system this is how the flashing method for pixel experience and at all on redmi note 7 pro that's it booted into pixel experience and at all hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this is Sampathy watching Sampath Samfx youtube channel and this is the redmi note 7 pro as you can see here and this is the pixel experience rom with android 12 based on 5th january 2022 security patch has been updated here and the kernel used here is 4.14.190 pixel kernel has been used and this is the latest build with january 27 and build number you can see here this is a stable build available for redmi note 7 pro finally the waiting is over for redmi note 7 pro regarding pixel experience custom rom and into the hood i have been running like around 5 minutes 53 seconds the cpu throttling test you can see here the maximum is 137 and average is 128 and minimum is 108 and cpu is throttled for 86 percent of its maximum performance and coming here you will get this kind of dialer here google dialer let's see let me increase the volume here and this how the volume panel you get and this three button if you press like this it will come like this and there's a power button and there is this live caption mode it's also working fine here let me disable it out and coming to dialer as you can see you get direct video call feature is available in this rom and uh, call recording is missing here that's how and you can see here in the quick settings panel and this mic axis and camera axis are working fine even while dialing the mic axis prompted here and this how the power button you get emergency lockdown and power off and restart if you want you can add i added more of them already there is this invert colors and data server there is no option of sync here that you need to note down and this how and this is the wallpapers and all you will get home settings it's obviously pixel launcher you get all the basic settings here you can check out and coming to widgets you get all the and at all widgets for example the clock one i will paste here if and you can change from here also as you can see you can change the style like this you can use the widgets and coming to wallpapers and style you get all the wallpapers like bloom wallpapers i applied this one if you want you can change anything those wallpapers are i mean the pixel and at 12 based wallpapers are pre-installed in this rom 
and wallpaper colors you can choose here basic colors also you can choose you can enable dark theme and themed icons are still in beta app grid is 4 into 5 to up to 5 into 5 grid sizes available in this rom now you can see here plenty of apps i already installed here before going into the apps and benchmark results let me show you the settings panel this is how the settings panel you get simple enough and the speed is also very good smooth ui definitely finally the wait has been over and uh, after a long time we are seeing cell experience and 12 based custom rom for redmi note 7 pro i mean the stable version it took time but definitely it's worth it and see this all the notification options you get bubbles features are available in the app settings you can choose the default apps from here if you want to change the browser or dialer for example true color you, you can change from there those settings are given into the battery life here as you can see it hasn't recorded app usage for past 24 hours it will say but i have been using from like 71 percent you can check out the flashing method i haven't charged it or haven't kept any charging still it's pretty good i can't able to say you exact battery life of this rom definitely going to be better you need to wait until one to two weeks then only you can judge the battery life on a, any custom rom here also applies the same and battery saver you get all the extreme battery saver settings as you can see when to use and essential apps you can select from here this is how the battery settings i hope explained it and into the sound and vibration you get all the basic settings touch sounds and all these settings are given here you can check out here there is no option to adjust the vib okay there is option vibration feedback you can enable or disable from here into the display settings brightness level adaptive brightness as you can see it's working fine and lock screen screen time on dark theme let me show you dark theme as you can see this is how the dark theme looks like it's pitch black condition only that's a good thing and this all the app drawer and this the google search and even the widgets also converted into dark theme and also the type of wallpaper you apply based upon that also the colors going to be changed here into the display i'll turn off the dark theme you can even schedule it out also display size you can change from here font also you can adjust font size not different types of fonts are not available there's a pixel experience night light feature is given you can schedule and adjust the intensity from here tap to wake is given wallpaper and style i explained and accessibility menu which is important this one accessibility menu as you can see handy feature you can use here you can use volume up and down without pressing the volume buttons even brightness also without sliding this you can adjust from here this is how the accessibility menu works in this room and coming to magnification is also given it's cool feature you can use it out if you want that and extra dim dark theme all are given here also and tack back feature is also given here select to speak accessibility menu switch axis also given you can use it vibration and haptics also you can adjust from here system controls timing control these are the cool features you need to check out accessibility menu and this is handy feature as i said before also going to help for you if you want to use without touching the volume button and if without sliding that you can use the accessibility menu into the security settings you just get a fingerprint unlock let me show you the speeds here just tap just tap here it will get unlocked not a fastest okay takes a little bit of time but it is fine in my opinion and at 11 was having a little bit faster but in and at all this is how the speeds you will get this is the first build we will going to get new updates on this pixel experience from stay tuned for those videos in my channel and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys i'll be motivated to make similar kind of videos in my channel and you'll get these kind of system settings here you can choose the language and input and select the physical keyboard also if you want and these all things you can change in the keyboard settings you can change the theme also and into the gesture you get system navigation this is how you get 
you can increase the sensitivity of left and right touch apart from that no other settings are given for system navigation there is option of system update here but i recommend to use the recovery to flash the new updates also even headphone jack volume is also very good using these earphones or many earphones i will try with this smartphone because this have headphone jack it's good and there is no echo or anything in the earpiece also and let me show you the charging animation this is how the charging animation you get again let me show you you get that wobbling effect even when you turn off turn on the smartphone also you'll get same thing it depends upon wallpaper this is how the pixel experience rom on redmi note 7 pro and i will show you some of the benchmark results here first start with 3d mark this is the score i got it with this pixel experience from on redmi note 7 pro after that this is the score 460 and frame per rate is 2.8 and you can see the graphs here temperature battery remains the same and fps increases from 2 to 5 and anti to benchmark also i have run and this is the scores you get with pixel experience and a 12 based ROM on Redmi Note Sample. This is the score 281,000, which is pretty good in my opinion. And temperature raises just 0.1 degree Celsius. And drop in percentage is 5%. That's a little bit worrying, but anyhow, it's good. And coming to PC Mark benchmark here, course you get with this app, it's recognized as like this. This is how the graph you can say, see it out. And you don't have enough data to compare score for this device but it's all the overall score is 8490 you can compare and the ua is smooth enough and coming to geekbench scores here it's also pretty good but not great or anything like that like we see in oxygen os type of roms this is how the single score is 486 and multi score is 1379 and the kernel as i said before also linux 4.14.190 pixel based kernel has been used in this rom you can see here the rom is very good and there is an option of screenshot and select also and the cpu throttling app has opened long time ago but it's still in memory this is pretty pretty good in terms of ram management also this is excellent by developer who had made this rom it's really really good i haven't seen like this that the cp throttling app was run like lot long ago but still it was in the memory and you get select options here those things are given and without wasting time let's see the bgma gameplay here this how the settings you get in the graphics settings you get smooth plus ultra if you want you can use hd and high also but i recommend to use in a smooth plus ultra if it is possible use the smooth plus extreme also and volume is also loud enough I'll come back and I hope I have shown everything and regarding camera application you get this kind of Google Hugo camera if you want you can use any Gcam ports also and you can even flash NX camera also I guess if anyone knows it do comment down in the comment section below such that others will understand it and this is how the pixel experience and at all best custom ROM for Redmi Note 7 if you like the video give it a like guys and if you have any doubts do comment down in the 
comment section below and thank you for watching we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now